press the button. Uh, Friday afternoon, we've got a couple of fishing boats up. Both batteries are charged. Well, I suspect it's this control module that's the problem. Yeah, it's got a fuse, we'll check that. A little under the rubber cap that was on there. Well, it's fine. Right, well, that's a right royal pain. So I've got two more boxes on the engines at home, so I will bring them and you can just bypass the whole thing. Not ideal though. Well, let's go and uh, take the control boxes off the two other engines. Well, there's one there, no guarantee it works, but uh, the engines did run and I did uh, clean the boxes at the time. Well, I wouldn't call them pristine, but uh, worth a try. After a bit of a clean up with the wire brushes, it's not looking so bad in there. Right, so it's that black box, and we'll. Uh, Remove it from the engine. Right, we'll disconnect the cables, uh, then the uh, battery power, which is the centre one, glow plug, which is the one furthest away, and start off the terminals. That's the two uh, harnesses that uh, head away from the engine. The next one's still attached to the old block is the engine harness and you can put it in the wrong way around but that white thing demon or denotes a pin that's not used and I think you can see down there there's a pin that's not used the easy way of avoiding confusion is just to do one beside the other which is what I've done now the wires onto the studs. So the nut that holds, or sorry, the bolt that holds the thing on is 8mm. These are 8 and 10 and 10. Well there's a serial number on the one that was on this engine and the one that was on the older engines. Both of them have the same serial number. Right, all connected. Uh, let's cross our fingers. Power's on to the engine. Let's see what appears here. Nothing. It's not too hopeful. Right, attempt number two. Because it hasn't worked, we're going to jump it across the terminals. Let's see what happens. Right, now what we need to switch. 
All right, to stop it is this lever here, which is stops the mechanical fuel pump. The bag of switches. So this appears to be a momentary. We'll check it with the multimeter. Yeah, so it's got a, a tail. Okay, white and green is uh, normally open. Right, we have uh, terminals to go on the box and the momentary on switch attached to some cable. Well, I've connected battery start and I put the glow plugs back on just to keep it out of the way. So, press the button. Now the question is, what other what other things can I plug in that might might work? Well, I'm kneeling just outside the engine bay, so I'll just start that, and then if I've got enough hands, I can lean down and get the stop. Affected. Starboard side affected. We have revs and ours. And presumably other monitoring, but you can't be sure unless it faults. 